what we're trying to do here is get the best from inspired individuals working very well. And so the architecture's primary purpose is to enable the achievement of innovation and creativity. You know, they do want Nobel Prize winners to come from this building. What we were looking for was a facility that was going to take material science into advanced technologies, electronic materials, renewable energy materials, biomaterials. We had many, many applicants wanting to be shortlisted for the design competition process. We got that down to five of, of our best companies and firms in Australia, um, and Grimshaw came along. We got onto the shortlist, the fifth, the fifth spot. We were, we were given the outsider's um, position. I think what they brought to this project was really a unique response to the brief. And I think that was what really differentiated them from uh, the other competitors. There had been a lot of thought put into how the building would actually function from a, from a user point of view. The idea of this building is that everyone enjoys sunlight and views and quality because what we're trying to do here is get the best outcomes of research. Quite commonly the support spaces for laboratory may, may be at the back of the building, leading to the laboratories, leading to say some postgraduate write-up space, leading through to the office and the professorial space perhaps on the other side of the building quite a different cross-section to this building. We flipped the arrangement, taking the service zone from the outside of the building and putting it as the internal spine. So the building worked in the round and the collaboration and the support spaces were around, the academic spaces at one end and the laboratory core in the middle. So that means that the users have got nice, open, airy workspaces with plenty of view outside where they're going to spend most of their time, but they're also very close to the laboratories, which is where the core of the research takes place. I'm the director of the Smart Centre, which is Sustainable Materials Research and Technology. This building feels like it's completely porous, the ability to walk between where you would normally go to sit on a computer and think, but then step outside your desk and walk past uh, this beautiful lab with glass enclosures, allows people to diffuse ideas between theory and practice uh, so seamlessly. Invention and creativity comes from the intersection of many people. The eureka moments in science don't come from people being siloed. I think science is all about um, sharing your excitement with other people. And the building really enables students and staff to do that. To be able to talk to colleagues and friends with whom you may not have otherwise engaged is critical because coming out of that, new ideas do emerge. From the time the building is completed throughout its life, we get endless requests for change. Already there have been changes to the laboratories, not many, but a number, and that has been a relatively smooth process to, build, to bring in those changes. The beauty of this building is that almost what anything you could possibly imagine can be accommodated without impacting on the building in a negative sort of way. This building has good bones and will certainly stand the test of the university's needs over the next 50 to 100 years. This building has an ever-changing appearance from whichever angle you look at it. So whilst you may be looking at the building and it will appear extremely solid, there's some views where the blades open up to reveal the activity that is going on inside the building. The blades open up to the morning light, they close down against the afternoon sunlight. Well, four angles of rotation. The collaborative spaces, we would open them up slightly, and when you had the more working spaces, we would close them down. This building sits in your benchmark for 
the lowest cost per square metre for a laboratory building built on campus in recent times. This is a highly efficient, highly rational building, but one that has an inherent beauty in it. 